The man hospitalized after a fight at SoFi Stadium before last weekend's NFC Championship game does remain in a medically induced coma. And tonight his family is speaking out. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live outside SoFi Stadium in Inglewood with the very latest, Lori. Well, Leslie, an attorney for Daniel Luna's family tells me his wife and his parents remain at his bedside at Harbor UCLA Medical Center tonight. They are pleading for answers about what happened so that it doesn't happen again, especially as the biggest game of the year is set to play here in less than two weeks. Anyone who's characterizing the incident or drawing conclusions at this point is premature. And I think it's counterproductive. Attorney Jonathan Davis, who now represents Daniel Luna's family, didn't name names, but it's not just anyone who's been drawing conclusions about the fight outside SoFi Stadium that left 40 year old Luna in a coma. It's Inglewood's mayor, who earlier this week said he's seen security video showing Luna shoving a man first. The reality is, is that this was a one punch, one shove, two shove, one punch altercation. Uh, the greatest damage was done because he landed on the back of his head. Luna is a well-known restaurant owner in the Bay Area. Friends have said any kind of fight is out of character. Davis says there's likely much more to what happened that SoFi cameras captured. There's no question hours of videotape from a myriad of angles, right? This is, this is a sophisticated environment. We know that SoFi will be preserving all the videotape so that that full picture can be uh, examined and uh, we can really understand not just the snapshot, the moment, but what happened before then that created the environment for this to uh, this tragic incident to occur. Inglewood police arrested and booked 33-year-old Brian Alexis Cifuentes on felony assault charges Thursday night. He has since posted bail. Luna's family, meanwhile, is overwhelmed with questions like, why didn't anyone call for help after Luna fell? And how did no one report seeing him on the ground before private security guards found him unconscious? And it's a, a very large question that the family wants answered. And I know everyone wants to have an answer to it because uh, we need to keep these environments safe and secure for everyone to come to enjoy them. We've got the Super Bowl is coming, and uh, I think that folks want to make sure that they can be there with confidence that, uh, that they will be um, in a secure, safe environment so that they can enjoy the game. Now, Luna's family is asking anyone who saw anything or perhaps has video of the incident or the moments before that to contact police. In Inglewood, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you.